Of course. I mean, uh, that's what the, the, the really great starting pitching does. They, they permit you to get into the game. You might fail a couple times early, but they keep the score tight, and then you can do something about it. We did score first today. That was a good thing. Um, they, they scraped for their run, which you've got to give them credit for. But um, uh, we, we, we just kept coming after them. We're in our bullpen early. We saw a lot of different looks. We finally, uh, Addison's home run large, and then, of course, Baez. That was nice to get those add-ons. And over to the left on the hey, wall. Joe, uh, yes, the Dodgers clearly tried to disrupt John by mm -hmm. taking large secondary leads, almost dancing there on the base paths at some point. Um, did you see anything, though, tonight that you haven't seen this season? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, uh, there's always uh, plotting going on. And like I said before, the most important thing is that John throws the ball well to home plate. That's the most important part of this. That gets overlooked. And I don't want him to get caught up in the minutia of everything else. Do what you do best. What he does best is he throws pitches very well up to 94 miles an hour, hour where he wants to. Then he has a great cutter and a curveball. So why would I want him to get uh, mentally infiltrated with trying to uh, hold runners if he's not comfortable? So we're, we have other things in place to take care of that. And I was glad he went out and pitched tonight like he did. John, for and all the way in the back? Yes, sir. Yeah, f forget about holding runners. He, he did seem to engage with the gamesmanship or whatever you want to call it. I wonder if it was in a good way, like a helpful way. Like he was pretty, he was pretty intense. He was lunging for balls. He was trying to field. Oh, he always does. He could. That's that's all normal. That's normal. I, I just like the one hopper to first base on the on the one ball that he was able to get the one bunt by I think it was Peterson. One hopper to first, nice play. Um, really close at third base uh, with the tag when they eventually did steal and got their run. I think David had a shot at the runner at second base, but didn't come out with it clean. So uh, the hobby, the feeling of the bunt by hobby, spectacular. And uh, like I said, we, we talk about things in advance. Um, and at the end of the day, if Johnny's pitching and executing like he can from the mound to the plate, the result's normally pretty good. <clears throat> and here in the center, Phil. Phil. Hey, Joe, uh, how does it feel to be one win over Clayton Kershaw or somebody else away from the World Series? <laughs> Obviously, it feels good. I, you'd much rather go home under those circumstances than the other. Um, and you want to get it done as quickly as possible. It's going to be a formidable event. Uh, I, our guys will absolutely be ready for the moment. I promise you that. Uh, it's great. Uh, the city of Chicago has got to be buzzing pretty much right now. Uh, I expect to sell out <laughs> at Wrigley. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. And all the way in the back left. Hey, Joe. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> Can you talk about how clutch Wilson Contreras has been all year, and especially in these playoffs? I think he has something like six or seven hits in these two series. He's working good at bats. He's not just uh, pigeonholing himself to pulling the baseball. He's doing the proverbial taking what the pitcher gives him. He's using the whole field. Um, and he plays with that, that energy. You've got to love the energy that he plays with. Everybody does. Uh, not a surprise at all. And then I definitely wanted him in the end of the game there because I – there was a chance to have Chappie pitch two innings today as opposed to just one. And so I wanted, that's why I made the switch. And he had the at-bat and had a great at-bat uh, for David. And over here to the right, Joe, just following up on Phil's yes, question. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you know what you're going to be getting with Kershaw sure. and perhaps Hill after that. Um, is there any way to attack those two, considering how successful they both were earlier in the series? Well, I mean, if they're, if they're on top of their game, let's just start with Kershaw. If he's on top of his game, it's going to be another very, very close low-scoring uh, game. We just have to do our best to... You know, eke out as many runs as we can. And on the other side, you have to pitch better than good pitching to win. So you got Kyle going. Kyle's been outstanding also. Um, nothing has been decided, obviously. We have to go back there and play our A game to beat these two outstanding, or the first outstanding pitcher, and hopefully that's all we have to face. And over here to the left, Dallas. Yes. Um, Joe, there, was, there seemed to be a discussion with you, the umpires, Contreras, after the game. Yeah. Can you tell us what was going yeah, on? Yeah, there was just a little bit of uh, controversy. Uh, yeah, regarding uh, Wilson and uh, Wilson um, tends to be temperamental. Uh, so, and I and again, we talk about you don't want to coach the aggressiveness out of somebody or the instinct with him. You just have to continue to speak with him because he's he's passionate. He's passionate about everything he does. He's passionate about his morning cup of coffee. This guy's just all about it. So, uh, that's all that was. I had a nice conversation. Everything was cool. Yes, sir. Uh, Joe, the team that scored first uh, in every single one of these games has won. Uh, how important has it been, especially with the pitching that we've seen in this series, to put that pressure on early? Well, that's been our mantra all year, to score first and to win innings. Um, it's big. It, it is big, and the winning percentage for that team normally uh, over the course of a long season is heavy, heavily in their favor. So that's, that's one of our goals. We were able to do it. And, um, and, of course, when the other team gets up, there's always their percentage that – 
Uh, you beat the team that scores first, too, sometimes. we got to go there mentally. But that's our goal on a nightly basis, to attempt to score first. And over here in the center field. Joe, on uh, Adrian Gonzalez's bunt, I yes. mean, how, where was Javi positioned exactly? And, uh, you know, do you ever think that somebody's going to try to bunt past the mound on that? Uh, yeah, but not him. You know, it's just you don't expect that out of him. Adrian's a really good baseball player. He's able to do a lot of different things. Um, that is a magnificent play by Javi. He's playing back on the grass. He's actually way out there. To make that play barehand and then throw him out, again, I keep saying this about him. There's a, a minority of the major league players that can make that play. It was that outstanding. So give Gonzalez credit for a great play, but give uh, Javi an even, uh, even more credit for the play that he made. Right here yes, Joe was mentioned earlier that you guys are one game away from the World <clears throat> Series, and there's some weight of history with the Cubs about that, even though you weren't here. Yep. But you've said embrace all along. Is that something else that you can embrace, being that close and, and openly talking about you know, achieving that one goal? Of course. Um, that's, that is our, that's been our goal all year, and uh, now we're, we're very close to it. And again, I want us to go and play the same game like you just saw tonight. Uh, uh, I anticipate our guy is going to pitch well. I anticipate their guy is too. We need to catch the baseball. Um, you know, and, uh, like I said, with, with pitchers like Kershaw, score runs with outs if you have that potential to do that too. That You have to take advantage of every opportunity when you're facing uh, that um, level of pitching. So, yeah, we're not going to run, run away from anything. It's, it's within our reach right now, and, but I do want us to go after it as though it's, again, I hate to say it, but Saturday. Let's just go play our Saturday game and see how it falls.